should connect uh, to what we've previously been doing. So, if, when Jake starts to, I'm, I'm staying low, he, when he starts to get under and he comes back up now, my knee is still slightly through. Yeah, so I'm not, my knee's not all the way onto the ground. So my knee's come out and Jake's buried under. Now, it might be hard for me to get back down lower now. Yeah, I still want my base on the floor. And now, I'm gonna take my back step here, okay? If he's, we'll look at if his legs are crossed uh, the, the previous way. Yeah, if his legs are crossed like this now, I want this. I want to be sat on his hip again. So it's still, I'm still looking at this hip control. Yeah. Now everything that for Jake to get up that way, everything he's been doing now, yeah, is going to be difficult. He's going to have to change his game slightly if I can make this back step. Okay. What I'm going to do now is we can look at controlling from here and passing, which we will do. Yeah. For now though, if his legs are crossed that way, I'm just going to grab on. I want to knee bar this top knee. Okay. Yeah, but if I just grab the knee, yeah, his other leg might switch. And, and if someone's got strong legs, it's still not that easy to straighten someone's legs if it's pulled in. So I'm going to grab onto the ankle here, flatten Jake out a little bit. And as I pull him backwards, I'm going to kick my leg all the way through. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm controlling the foot that he needs to defend with. Now my free foot, I'm keeping base set on the hip. You need the, your balance here. You don't want to be falling backwards yet. My foot's going to step over. Then I'm going to try and get my legs in tight so my heels are pulled in. Yeah. Now I can come forward to the heel, falling off to the side. Here, uh, head comes on, on top, and then I'm just engaged. My heels are going to pull in. I don't want a knee bind in that position. My heels pull in tight towards the bum, yeah, and then I'll extend my hips. Yeah. So if my legs are straight here, you can't extend your hips. If my legs are bent at 90 degrees, heels pulled in, then it gives you that hip extension, which is the same principle on the arm bar. Okay. So this could be done from, if I'm in a knee slice pass position, even if Jake's buried under now, and I'm starting to lose this. Or I might have a little bit of control, but there's just no space for me to come through. So before I even go, I might step back, yeah, and then my hand might just grab on his ankle. Yeah. So he's still thinking knee slice, but now, he can, one, he can't stop my back stepping now. So when I back step, I've already got the leg that he wants to defend with. This is a, I'm not bothered about the, what I'm attacking. I just want to stop him defending it at first. Now, I might even loosen the leg up. Instead of pulling it in too tight, you can loosen the leg up so you can't recross it. Yeah. yeah, and then I slide my legs up and then push it back down again. Now I step over, heels pull in, and then I'm falling up to the side again. Yeah. Getting the knee, and then my heels pull in tight. So I'm trying to do a leg curl, pulling my heels in as tight as possible, elbows pinned in, and then at the end, I would start to engage my hips. Is that alright guys? Do you want to give that a go a few times? If you've got questions, just give me a shout. Yeah.